If you're catching a glimpse of the solar eclipse, do it properly or risk losing your sight permanently. When we watch a solar eclipse, the uh, light ray, the radiation from the sun can actually damage our retina. And some of these damages could be transient and some of them could be permanent. When the eclipse darkens the sky, that is not a signal to look up. The sun emits uh, the same amount of radiation whether you can see the visible light or not. The problem during the eclipse is that you're going to be more susceptible to damage because you're not going to get the natural warnings of Mother Nature of the brightness to tell you to look away. Everyone who views the eclipse needs to take steps to protect their eyes. One of the easiest ways to do this is to buy a certified pair of eclipse glasses. When you purchase your solar eclipse glasses, make sure that they're labeled to indicate that they have been endorsed and labeled as ISO, which will indicate that they will protect your eyes. You only need these glasses if you plan on looking directly at the eclipse. If you don't have them, there are other ways to view it safely. Look underneath a tree for, for the projections of the sun, or just simply hold up your fingers together, make little holes between your fingers, let the sunlight shine down through that, and you'll get the same effect. It's called a pinhole camera. If you're using a telescope or camera, they will need a special filter. The glasses will be no help. Do not use a camera, a set of binoculars, telescopes, even your cell phone, do not view through these, even if you're wearing the ISO stamped approved protective eyewear. And while it may seem like a lot of preparation, experts say it is totally worth it. If you're lucky enough to be in the path of totality and assuming the sky is clear and this all doesn't happen behind the clouds, I can actually say to you, you're not gonna be the same again. NASA has certified four manufacturers of Eclipse glasses. They are Rainbow Symphony, American Paper Optics, Thousand Oaks Optical, and TSC 17. In Columbia, South Carolina, Therese Garnier, Fox News.